Hello guys, in this video, I will be discussing about rational equation. Rational equation is an equation involving rational expressions. Rational expression is given by the symbol P of X over Q of X. P of X and Q of X are polynomials with integers or rational coefficients that is equated to zero. Take note our denominator Q of X should not be equal to zero otherwise it will become undefined. In short, this is one of our major assumptions that our denominator should not be equal to zero to avoid undefined. Now, rational equation, we have here an example of a rational equation, x plus 2 over 3x minus 1 minus 1 equals 0. Now, if you are going to base that from our rational expression here, our denominator should not be equal to 0, so therefore we are going to create here a restriction. What is your restriction? Restriction is actually taken from the denominator. So you have to take denominator 3x minus 1. That denominator should not be equal to 0 if we are going to base that from our definition a while ago. Now if we are going to transpose negative 1, it will become 3x not equal to 1 over 3, over 3, cancel that. So x should not be equal to one third. Now this is our restriction. X should not be equal to one third. What's the purpose of our restriction? The purpose of the restriction is that if ever you arrive with the same value from your solution as your X, then you have to reject and do not accept because that value one third can make your denominator zero. If that is the case, you are violating the definition of a rational equation. So first thing to do is to find the restriction. Now again, our main objective is to solve for x. So basing from this rational equation, what we're going to do this after today is that we are going to solve for x. Now, in solving for x, there are actually three ways. First way is that by using the cross multiplication. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to copy x plus 2 over 3x minus 1. And then we are going to transpose negative 1 to the right. So from negative 1, it will become positive 1. And this is understandable that 1 has a denominator of 1. Anyway, 1 over 1 is still 1, the original. Take note, both of the sides of the equation are in single expression. If both sides of the rational equation are in single expression, then you can employ the process of cross multiplication. So we are going to cross multiply. In short, you can only use cross multiplication if both sides of our rational equation are in single expression. So what is 1 times x plus 2? That's x plus 2 equals what is 3x minus 1 times 1? That's 3x minus 1. We are going to solve for x, so we have to combine like terms or similar terms by transposing positive 3x to the left and transposing positive 2 to the right. So we have to copy x from positive 3x, that will become negative 3x equals negative 1 
from positive 2, it will become negative 2. And then we have to continue here. So what is x minus 3x? Negative 2x. Which is equal to what is negative 1 minus 2? Negative 3. Over negative 2, over negative 2, you have to cancel your coefficients and then x is equal to 3 halves. Are we going to accept this? Yes, this is our solution. It's because 3 halves is a value that will satisfy the x value here from the rational equation. As I've said, if ever the, the solution that you arrive is having a value of one-third, then you have to reject and do not accept because it will make our denominator undefined. But in this case, this is three halves, so therefore, this is our solution. This is the first way by using the cross multiplication. But from this given rational equation, we can actually have the second way. What is the second solution in finding our x that is by using the LCD? Meaning to say we are going to combine first term, second term, because at this point, this first term, second term separated by subtraction operation. So we are going to combine two terms into a single expression on the left. So we are going to erase this and discuss the second way in finding our x value. This is our second way. We are going to combine first term and second term into one term or single expression. How to do that? By LCD or least common denominator. It's just our denominator, 3x minus 1. So 3x minus 1 divided by 3x minus 1, that's 1, times the numerator, so we have x plus 2 minus. Where did it come from? From here. Copy. 3x minus 1 divided by 1 because this is understandable that it has a denominator of 1. Anyway, 1 over 1 is still 1. 3x minus 1 divided by 1, that's 3x minus 1 times 1. Of course, 3x minus 1 itself. And then we have to enclose that. Why? Because we are going to distribute minus to 3x and negative to negative 1 equals 0. Copy. So we have here x plus 2. As what I have said, we have to use distributive property, distributing negative sign to every term of the subtrahend. So negative times 3x, that's negative 3x. Negative times negative 1, that's positive 1. Over 3x minus 1 equals 0. Now let's occupy this part. So let me erase this. So continuation here, we have x minus 3x. We are going to combine like terms, so that will become negative 2x. Positive 2 plus positive 1, that will become plus 3 over 3x minus 1 equals 0. From here, as you noticed, both sides of our rational equation are in single expression. So at this point, this is understandable that 0 has a denominator of 1. Anyway, 0 over 1 is still 0. From this, we can actually cross multiply. Recalling cross-multiplication, you can only cross-multiply if both sides of the equation are in single expression. So what is 1 times negative 2x plus 3? That will become negative 2x plus 3. Equals, what is 3x minus 1 times 0? That will become 0. 
Here we are going to transpose positive 3 to the right. So it will become negative 3 upon transposing. What's left on the left? Negative 2x. We are going to solve for x. So therefore we have to divide both sides by 2. Negative 2. Specifically, so we have negative 2x equals negative 3. We are going to divide both sides by negative 2. Also on the right side to maintain the equality and we have to cancel that. So x is equal to 3 over 2. Are we having the same answer or solution from the first way? Yes. So therefore, you can actually use this solution in solving for x. So we have the same result from our first solution. So the first way is by using the cross multiplication. The second way is that we are employing the process of LCD. And then after that, using the cross multiplication from here. And then there it goes. We found three halves of, as our x value. But there is actually the third way. What is the third way? By using the least common multiple or the LCM. So let me erase this one. So here, first thing to do is finding our LCM and then multiplying LCM to the whole equation. So what is our LCM or least common multiple? These are just denominators. So we have here 3x minus 1. And this is understandable that we have here a denominator of 1 and a denominator of 1. So we have to pick all the denominators. So we have here times 1. And this is also 1. Take note that LCM must be unique expressions, meaning to say the expressions must not be repeating. But what is 1 times 3x minus 1? 3x minus 1. So we have only one expression for the LCM. That's 3x minus 1. What's the purpose of 3x minus 1? We are going to multiply 3x minus 1 or the LCM to the whole equation. So this is now times x plus 2 over 3x minus 1 minus 1. equals 0. Now in multiplying, we are going to distribute to every term of the equation and also multiplying on the right side to maintain the equality. So what is 3x minus 1 times x plus 2? In multiplying, just do not simplify. So we have 3x minus 1 times x plus 2. But take note, we have still a denominator of 3x minus 1. So do not forget. Minus, this is actually the operation coming from here. Copy. 3x minus 1 times 1. Of course, this will become 3x minus 1. And you have to enclose by a parenthesis because later on, we are going to distribute our subtraction operation to every term of the subtrahend. 3x minus 1 times 0, of course, any function multiplied to 0 is 0. Simplify, we are going to cancel 3x minus 1 and 3x minus 1. Now what's left? x plus 2, so you have to copy that here. Continuation, x plus 2. This is the expression left. Minus... Negative times 3x, that will become negative 3x. So this is multiplying negative to here and multiplying negative on the second term. What is negative times negative 1? So that's plus 1 equals 0. 
Now, combining x and negative 3x, so that will become negative 2x. Combining 2 and 1, they are similar terms, so that will become positive 3 equals 0. Transposing positive 3 to the right, so it will become negative 2x equals negative 3. And then, we are going to divide both sides with negative 2 to find our x. So, x here is equal to 3 halves. Are we having the same result? Yes. So in this video, I actually give three ways in finding our x value coming from this rational equation. But take note, not all rational equation can use the three ways. Okay? For, our, for my next video, I will be discussing about rational equation with different and complicated advanced rational equation. Thank you for watching.